वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम बैक टू साइंस क्लास लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ आर टू डेज इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर वी डिस्कस्ड दैट हाउ विग्नियस रॉक्स वेर फॉर्म्ड डिड यू एन्जॉय द वीडियो यू लर्न सो मेनी न्यू न्यू इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स विच हैपेंड इन आवर अर्थ ओके लेट्स लर्न हाउ द सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स आर फॉर्म्ड डिड यू नो वॉट आर सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स द रॉक्स विच आर फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम द सेडिमेंट्स इजी कुछ समझ में आया नथिंग आई नो दैट ओके लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू डीपली दैट हाउ सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स आर फॉर्म एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट द सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स आर फॉर्म फ्रॉम द सेडिमेंट्स वॉट आर सेडिमेंट्स सेडिमेंट्स आर द स्मॉल स्मॉल और टाइनी पीसेस और टाइनी बिट्स ऑफ ब्रोकन रॉक्स ब्रोकन पीसेस ऑफ एनी डेड मैटर सॉयल स्मॉल स्मॉल लीव्स एंड एनी डेड then any dead things okay from these small small pieces which flow in the air which flow in the water from these pieces sediments are formed but how this pieces go and flow in the air how this pieces flow in the water jab zyada barish aur hawa toofan hota hai tum dekhte ho when you go outside and see the road the entire road is messy sara road ganda dikhta hai why because ya to hawa toofan mein itna sara plants aur leaves aake girta hai aur pura road mein dikhta hai and also the small small rocks are also wo bhi bikhra pada rehta hai entire road okay so with this heavy wind and rain with this natural processes they carry the tiny bits of rocks tiny bits of leaves plants and small small dust particles small small things small small dead matter and they just carry them to the rivers lakes or seas once they just get and carry uh, once they just carry this uh, small small uh, tiny fragments or tiny pieces to the rivers lakes and seas these get settled at the bottom ठीक है इफ यू हैव गॉन टू एनी पिकनिक स्पॉट जहाँ बहुत पानी होता है एंड इफ यू जस्ट गो एंड स्टैंड इन दैट वाटर आर यू स्टैंडिंग ऑन द फ्लोर नो यू कैन फील दैट यू आर स्टैंडिंग इन एनी रॉक्स और यू आर स्टैंडिंग इन एनी सॉयल टाइप मटीरियल्स इज इंट इट वाई बिकॉज ऑफ दिस थिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दिस हैवी रेन एंड विंड दे जस्ट कैरी विद दैम दीज स्मॉल स्मॉल पीसेस एंड दे जस्ट थ्रो दैम इन द river lakes or seas once this small small pieces get settled at the bottom of the uh, rivers lakes and seas they form into sediments they are called the sediments as these layer of sediments as this small small layers of uh, tiny uh, rocks uh, dust soil and uh, leaves and so many things once they get uh, build up dheere dheere gradually itna sara girne ke baad it becomes so heavy it becomes into a layer one after another koi to nahi hai usko leke aane wala wo to wahi settle ho jayega one after another and after so many years this get heavy and they become crushed and pressed one over one over the other after so many years when they get pressed and crushed such small small sediments become heavy rock and this rock is known as sedimentary rocks okay steves are called the sedimentary rocks ab samajh mein aa gaya what are sedimentary rocks yes one interesting thing i will tell you sometimes the dead organisms the dead organic matter like uh, some dead bones or dead shells or dead leaves or anything dead thing they just go and settle in the river as sediments and sometime because of the heavy wet they get preserved over one over the other and create an impression they leave behind an impression impression means i told you they leave behind a mark theek hai kyunki sediments ek ke upar ek gir ke wo bahut bada rock banta hai usi tarah sometimes the dead bones or the dead animals or the dead shells they also just go and fall one over the other okay because of their heavy weight they got they get preserved and uh, they be, uh, they create an impression they leave behind an impression over the rock and these are known as fossils 
okay from these fossils we can uh, imagine these fossils are usually kept in museums because it tells us a story about these things that uh, such things were there on the earth before okay so that's why those are called the fossils okay so did you all understood what are sedimentary rocks there are many types of sedimentary rocks for example sandstone shale conglomerates limestone okay so many things are there so number one is sandstone these are formed when the small small particles small small grains of sand sand particles it gets compressed and they are cemented together cemented means they are pressed together and then they are prepared as a sedimentary rock okay it consists mostly of a mineral called quartz quartz is also there in granite yes now quartz is also in sandstone these are also these sandstone is used is the best example is red fort you know that it is red sandstone with the help of red sandstone red fort is made it is also used in building purposes construction of building another one is limestone it mainly consists of a mineral called calcite which is formed from calcium that is a mineral i told you in the chapter 1 food and health calcium is a mineral yes from these minerals calcite are formed and this calcite consists in limestone okay these calcite are formed from the skeletons and shells of tiny sea animals theek hai deep inside the sea unke shells or bones or skeleton se calcite is formed ओके वेन दीज एनिमल्स दे डाई देन उनका जो मरा हुआ बोन्स मरा हुआ बॉडी से डेड बॉडी से कैल्शाइट इज फॉर्म्ड चौक इज अनादर काइंड ऑफ लाइम स्टोन एंड यू नो लाइम स्टोन इज यूज टू मेक इन ब्रिक्स एंड सीमेंट्स इन ऑल दोज परपोजेस शेल शेल इज अ सेडिमेंट्री रॉक विच इज फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम द लेयर्स ऑफ क्ले एंड सिल्ट हार्ट इन इट इज वेरी smooth types texture and it is mostly used in making cement it is used also in making tiles and uh, to uh, it is also used in construction purposes because it is used as uh, bricks also so from these layers of sediments the sedi- different different sedimentary rocks are formed another one example is conglomerate the last layer of sediments it consists of so many sands and pebbles so with the help of these sands and pebbles conglomerate sand uh, conglomerate rock is made okay if you have seen the picture you can see that the big, uh, conglomerate sand it looks like pebbles which are uh, cemented together with minerals they are all just uh, crushed and pressed together with so many minerals along with it so that is conglomerate stone so this is all about the sedimentary rocks and their types last is your metamorphic rocks which is very easy metamorphic rocks are usually formed they are usually a type of sedimentary and igneous rock and in in a in a simple language of your maths language if i say then sedimentary rocks plus igneous rocks is equal to metamorphic rocks how i will tell you deep inside the earth if you remember what is there molten material called magma heat is there very much hot temperature is there okay that is in how uh, through which the igneous rocks were formed but over the earth okay over the earth be, uh, because of sedimentary rocks the pressure becomes high so many sediments are there so there is heavy wet so many pressure over there so this heavy temperature plus this heavy pressure is equal to creates a metamorphic rock understood children so definitely because of this igneous and sedimentary rocks the metamorphic rocks are formed okay because of this heat high temperature and because of the pressure of sediments of so many sediments the metamorphic rocks are formed so again there are many types of metamorphic rocks that is your marble quartzite slate gneiss so many metamorphic rocks are there now
and it and you learned that how metamorphic rocks are formed how sedimentary rocks are formed so i hope your concept is clear about the three different types of rock next time if you can if anyone will ask you about the types of rock now you can say now you can explain because you have watched my video you have attended my class and you have read your book then definitely your funda will be clear your all doubts will be cleared and i i told you before also that science is at your home only just find it out we are also surrounded with so many different types of rocks okay like uh, we use tiles and uh, we also have uh, we, we we can see the buildings we know so many things that uh, there are so many things in the floors in your kitchen in your slab so many rocks we used to apply okay so we are also surrounded with science and today also you learned a very interesting thing so children we will again meet in the next